Hello guys, it's Hasbun Ian again with a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be providing some constructive criticism for both the backrooms, creators, and fandoms, etc. and any 3D modelers. In the multiple pictures and videos featuring async hazmat technicians, they can be seen sporting the M17 gas mask underneath their Class A hazmat suit, or in the case of the newest technician design, he's seen sporting it in a Class B hazmat suit configuration. Now, for those who don't understand what these hazmat suit classes pertain to, I will explain. Class A hazmat suits are worn when personnel are at great risk of being exposed to unknown or extremely dangerous chemical or biological threats. Class A hazmat suits provide the highest level of personal protection for the wearer against solid, liquid, and gas chemical and biological threats. Class A ensembles include positive pressure, full face piece self-containing breathing apparatuses, also known as SCBAs, and totally encapsulating chemical and vapor protective suits, which include a secondary set of chemical resistant gloves, which are worn on the inside of the suit, along with chemical resistant boots, which are worn on the outside. In addition to a two-way radio system, a in-suit cooling system, outer gloves, and in some cases, a hard hat. Class B hazmat suits are worn in circumstances that still require high levels of respiratory protection, while only need the minimum of protection from liquid chemicals and splashes. These suits do not provide the wearer protection from vapors and gases, or solids. Level B ensembles include a positive pressure full face piece SCBA, liquid splash protective suit, inner chemical resistant gloves, chemical resistant safety boots, two-way radio, and a hard hat. The cooling system and outer gloves are optional elements of this ensemble. If you still have difficulty understanding what this means, that's okay, as I just tossed a lot of hazmat and CBRN terms at you that you may not understand. Essentially, they're wearing a gas mask instead of a SCBA mask. In some cases, gas masks can be retrofitted to work as an SCBA, which is originally I thought was done with these gas masks, so I did a closer inspection on the 3D models. The Async Class A hazmat suit lacks any air hoses which connect directly to the mask, while on the Class B suit you can even see the connector for the air hose, which is seen on the left side of the model. This connector there would end up connecting to a hose which is attached to some of the SCBA mask, which you can see now. Now I have suggestions of how this could be corrected. Firstly, I recommend that the 3D modelers could edit their models and add air hoses which connect to the box which resides where the right cheek filter of the M17 gas mask would be. It looks like something that would be connected to an air hose and frankly that's the only thing I could think of as nothing like that exists for any M17 I've ever seen. It's not a voice amplifier or anything like that. That's the only thing that makes sense for that. Next solution could be using a proper SCBM mask which connects to the air supply. That would work great on the Class B suit and would not be a problem with the Class A. Or finally, the content producers could choose other HAZAP models which have proper SCBAs. I know making some changes would also help increase the realism of the found footage, which would definitely be a plus as I know a lot of them try their hardest to make it look real. Also, I would like to state that I understand that these hazmat suit models have become very synonymous with the back rooms and their designs are iconic. But, if you make some minor changes, you could still keep the suits and everything you like about it, but also help make it look more realistic. Now, that is everything I have to say. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Hazard Unit, signing off.